Hey everyone, I'm Monkey Wrench Mike, and today we're reviewing the newest electric bike from Van Powers. This is a company committed to producing electric bikes with excellent performance and attractive appearance. It's called the Urban Glide, and whether it's commuting to work, running errands, or picking up some packages, it could be the perfect bike for you. This e-bike features a low step-through frame for riders of all sizes, especially those on the shorter side. The company says the shape of the frame allows for a more natural and comfortable riding position. Van Power says this bike's pedal assist mode offers a boost of up to 400% of your pedaling output for an easy but natural feeling ride. Plus, the power delivery system helps reduce jerky movements for a gradual and comfortable acceleration. The Urban Glide features a 500 watt motor powered by a 48 volt battery cruising range is up to 68 miles. Finally, the 3.5 inch full color display shows everything you need while riding and thanks to its automatic light level sensors, you can clearly see your information at any time of the day. Hey everyone, I am Monkey Wrench Mike and this, as you heard, is the newest electric bike from Van Powers. It's called the Urban Glide and we are going to grade this on fit, form, and function. Fit, how well everything goes together. Form, the way it looks, the style, and then function. We're gonna check the smile on my face when we're riding it up and down the streets, maybe even take it on some trails. Who knows where we're gonna go with this? You can't even get this on the website yet. It is that new. So, like we do with every electric bike, we are going to unbox it, put it together and you're going to watch. I'm just gonna follow the directions and we're gonna see how easy it is to assemble the Urban Glock. Together. This is a good looking bike. That gray is gorgeous. You see this on brand new vehicles, four wheel vehicles today. Here we have it on two. The tires are not the fat tires. This is the Urban Glide, remember. So this is more for city riding. It comes in three models, the uh, Urban Glide Ultra, the Pro, and the standard. This right here is the Pro. One of the things I do want to mention right off the bat, I like this. See how you can adjust the angle of your handlebars. Love it, love it, love it. You have a full suspension on the front. There is even some kind of a uh, suspension system on the seat itself. So we'll check that out when we get this out there on the road. So let's do that. Without further ado, let's take this Van Powers Urban Glide and do a little gliding. Oh, and the seat gives. There is a little shock absorber under that seat right there. I like the riding position. This is beautiful. They say it kind of self adjusts to the light as well. So let's see how we can operate this. This is your pedal assist right here. Three, four, and five, like all bikes. Let's go to one. We'll give it a little bitty takeoff. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is nice. This is much uh, larger than some of the other bikes that I've tested. And let's do a little bit of the, okay. Here we go, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, wow, and what am I? And it's, it's gotta be like first gear right there. Okay, oh my goodness, okay, here we go. With the smaller tires, there's a different feel. It's comfortable though. It is very, very comfortable. Let's see if we can shift. Yep. Gears shift. Nice and quiet. Very precise. And listen how quiet this thing is. Oh my, this bike is super quiet. Listen to the brakes. You can't hear them. I 
And I can tell you right now, my rear is gonna love this seat. He is really gonna love this seat. <laughs> yeah, just a small little push with your thumb right there and you're off and running. You are off and gliding, I guess I should say. That's me jumping on the seat right there. That's how much give the seat will allow. That's like having a shock absorber for the rear part of the bike, but this is just dedicated to your rear end. <laughs> Takeoff is smooth. Wow, that's easy. And when you let off of the uh, pedal assist, it doesn't hang on for quite a while. Okay, some of these bikes you actually let off of the uh, motorized part of the bike and they will continue to stay engaged for like two or three or four seconds. I will tell you one thing, the more you ride this bike, the more you appreciate <laughs> the suspension on this thing, those dual shocks on the front and the one under your rear. If you know what I'm talking about, super nice. That to me is a game changer. Now I'm having to hold my camera on the handlebar so it's a little bouncy. I'm sorry about that. But I will say that this, here's that a little better for you. This is a comfortable bike. This is perhaps one of the more comfortable bikes that I have ever ridden yet. And I'm out here in my little neighborhood enjoying it. And if I get tired, whoa. Yeah, all you have to do is hit that, hit the go button and that pedal assist kicks in. <sighs> nice. Okay, this is Top Gear. Let's go to my hill. This is where we do kind of a torque test and we see how fast we can go up this hill. Some bikes have only been able to do it at like 12 miles an hour. Others have been pretty quick. So we'll come right here to where we always stop. And this is where we always stop. We're gonna adjust the camera just a touch. And you ready? Here we go. We're off. Let's just see how we can do this. Five, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, well, 18, 17, we're slowing down a little bit. 17, 16 miles an hour. Now this is, this is top gear right here and it's still easy to go up the hill because I have the pedal assist at five. Fifteen miles per hour. Still, this is a nice, comfortable speed. It's not the fastest I've been up the hill, though. All right, this is kind of middle of the road. So that's fifteen, sixteen. Now, as we level out, we can speed up. I'm not pedaling now. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and we'll stop. So it looks like she's governed at twenty. Okay. So there may be a way to get around that top speed. Sometimes on these bikes you can bypass the top speed, but this is, this is a cruiser. This is like, wow. The quality, it, to me it feels like an old Mercedes. I am an old Mercedes guy, all right? Those old Mercedes drive like tanks. They're quiet. They're not squeaky. They're powerful. And they just eat up the miles. This feels very similar to me. I think it's, I think it's a really well-built bike. Listen, she's eating up these roads like nothing. There is no road noise at all. We'll do a hard break. Okay, that's pretty quick. <laughs> that's pretty quick. The one word that keeps coming to mind as I'm on this bike is quiet. I mean, I'm out here, I'm on the bike. I cannot hear the motor. I cannot hear the brakes. I can hear the birds chirping in the trees. I can hear cars coming up behind me. It's just a peaceful yet powerful experience. It really is. And the low step through, oh, oh very, very nice. I think I'm sold. I really do. I think I'm sold on this Van Powers. Oh, so let's get it back to the house and we'll give her some grades. 
We are back and it's time to assign some grades to this lovely bike. I gotta tell you, I really, really enjoy riding this bike. So as far as fit, the way the bike went together, getting it out of the box, was it difficult to put together? No, it was very, very simple. You turned it over, which I thought was really, really cool. You have metal fenders, which I think is even better and everything went together just so easily. So we're definitely, yeah, we're giving her an A for that. Form. What does the bike look like? What is the style of the bike? This right here, where you can step over. You don't have to swing your leg around or over another bar right here. This means it's gonna be perfect for riders of all sizes, okay? I like the seat, it is comfortable. I like this position here, and most of all, I like how you can raise or lower the angle of your handlebars right here. And the fact that you have a little shelf right here, perfect. So once again, we're giving her an A for form. Function, you know what's coming. This was a fun bike to ride. It was the quietest bike that I have ridden to date. Not the most powerful, but the quietest and perhaps one of the most comfortable bikes I have ever ridden. So as far as function, we're giving her an A plus in that department. The overall grade for the Van Powers Urban Glide Pro model, yep, we're giving her an A plus. This is a very, very nice bike. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this or not. It is not available until June 8th. So you wanna to go to the website vanpowers.com on June the 8th. They tell me that there is going to be an early bird special. So if you are there when it is available, you're gonna save yourself some money. They're also giving me some discount codes. So check in the description below for some discount codes. And I hope, I hope, you like this bike as much as I do because this, this is a nice bike. It's a good size bike. It's not too big, it's not too heavy, but most of all, it is fun and it feels like a really nice quality bike. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for this bike review. So once again, Monkey Wrench Mike having some fun on another electric bike and a big thanks to everybody at Van Powers. Super nice people there. They sent me this before it was available to the public and I gotta tell you, they're asking my opinion on the bike as well. So I'll fill out a survey and let them know any changes I think the bike needs, which to me, absolutely zero. I don't, I just, I just can't anticipate thinking of a way that I could add to the bike. So with that said, I'm gonna spend some more time on it. All right, folks, have a great day. Hug those kids if you got them. We'll see you soon.